What's happening, folks? The Living Seventy Two is back again. Got another video for you, and we're gonna be taking a look at Gamers ROM. So let's go check this out. So you know, model number for the Captivate. It's four point two point two. There you go. Semaphore kernel. So that's right. You can overclock. Do whatever you want. CM. No, it's not saying games ROM here, but it is. Anyways, just before I continue, memory. Yeah, as you know, because it's got the Summer 4 kernel, you can go with big memory. But for this particular ROM, it doesn't work really well. It likes to reboot pretty often, so I kind of don't re recommend it. Or use it as your own discretion. That's cool. Let's take a look quickly at performance, the settings that you have here. Standard CM style. I mean, I have it clocked up to 1200 megahertz, so overclocked by 200. IO, I have CFQ, and let's take a look at developer options really quick. Just see the kind of things that were done. So, all the scales were put down to 0.5, force GPU rendering, and force 4x MSAA. So, this is actually designed to um, smooth out edges and stuff like that. It's good for apparently texts uh, through the UI, gaming, stuff like that, but it will cost at the hands of performance speed, so use it wisely. Other than that, you get some sick widgets. You have the uh, Xperia widget. You get the 4.2 widget. You get a few others. Now, let's take a look through some of four really quick for you guys. So, you can go interactive. Actually, I usually like to use Smartass. There you go. You have Deep Idle, which helps it, you know, like when it's in standby, like that. Deep idle, I mean, after a period of time, it goes into a deep sleep state. It's always good, saves battery. Let's take a look what else. So, we'll see if Q, you can change your whole lot of schedulers on that. Ones that you didn't probably, you would not see on the CM side of things. So, there you go. So, you get SIO and row and whatnot. So, now. Oops, that was my other phone that just went off. So, I tested it out with. Uh, was it Modern Combat 4? It worked s flawlessly smooth. It was absolutely amazing. Not so much Nova 3. I mean, it is somewhat smooth, but Nova 3 in general has never been well optimized, in my personal opinion. And anyone with a North American Galaxy S3, you know exactly what I'm talking about. That game just. It's so, so laggy. It's. Scares me how Gameloft has let that just go by for so long and they still haven't done anything about it, but whatever. So, that's pretty much that. Subscribe to me, guys. I intend to do a whole lot more videos for you. Maybe get new some phones and tablets. So, that's pretty much it. You know, go to the. I'll have a link in the description below for Gamers ROM. And that's pretty much that. Peace out.